Hey, uh, my name is Jacob Jackson. I'm from Loma Linda, California, and we're here getting ready to run Jackrabbit Jubilee 12 hour. Doing this, I'm really excited because, you know, you're going to see your crew every loop, which is going to be nice, and just the atmosphere. You got the music blaring and lots of uh, fun things going on that Jubilee has plans. After finding out that I had made the U.S. Uh, team to run uh, out in France, uh, I made the 24-hour IAU World Championship. I've been was kind of looking for an, another short looped course, um, basically to get nutrition dialed in and just for training. Really, saw this one was uh, going on a couple months before the race, so it was like perfect timing to come out here and do this. I'm fairly new to these timed events, so. Um, I ran uh, another 24-hour race last year called Nanny Goat in Riverside and I ended up running 134 miles which qualified me to run uh, Desert Solstice uh, late last year. So I ended up running that, not really putting any pressure or any expectations and uh, ended up doing really well at Desert Solstice running 157 and a half miles. I ended up getting a qualifying spot to make the team for that. You know, there's not an end goal. You, you know, when you're running a 100 mile race, you're done when you hit 100 miles. So with the timed events, you could really see how far you can push yourself. I've always been really uh, good at keeping a steady pace through races. And I think just the timed, it was just kind of a, a, another evolution in my running of just trying to see how far I could go in a certain amount of time instead of how fast I could go in a certain amount of mileage. Running up in the mountains or on a point-to-point -point course, a loop course, you know, you have aid stations, so you kind of set your goals for that, just getting to that next aid station, whereas being on a looped course, the aid station is always there. You can always stop. You always see um, your crew and so I think it's just uh, telling yourself or convincing yourself that you don't really need to stop you can run past it. things that in your mind they're saying you, you know slow down stop but when you don't have a reason to it's one of those mental things where you just got to keep telling yourself keep going keep going this is a different different beast and it's great because I mean my wife is usually you know my crew so she loves being able to just sit in one spot and not have to drive anywhere or get lost and finding direction so yeah it kind of works out for both of us and even uh, I've been able to bring out the kids too for some of the, the races that I've done on the, the loop courses so you know getting to see them every loop cheering and you know they're staying active with doing things you know while I'm out running so it's been great. Being a father you always want to try to set a good example and show your kids that you know you Sometimes you have great races and things don't go the way you want to go, but you just get up and you train hard, um, set that goal, and go after it. And you know, my my oldest son now is uh, doing uh, cross country and, and track in high school, so it's been really great being able to see him excel and get better and faster. And yeah, it's just one of those things where we kind of uh, motivate each other, I guess. Didn't really think I was capable of making the team just because of some of the other guys that were running it and yeah once the once the 24 hours was was up and I saw that I had hit 157 and everybody was like oh my gosh you're in you're in the second spot right now for the team I was just kind of uh, in shock really it was just such a surreal moment um, yeah I didn't really know what to expect it took uh, a couple days afterwards to let it all sink in and I was like, wow, I'm actually going to fulfill a dream, really. So it was pretty great. Oh, it was great. I love the atmosphere. It really uh, kept me motivated just seeing everybody, you know, so close. Uh, great race. I loved it. Uh, my nutrition plan worked out really well, and uh, I was able to hold my pace, the paces that I wanted. So I loved it. It was an awesome race, awesome time being out here.